All right, g'day, hi, and welcome. Uh, doing these short little five-minute videos is kind of, uh, from my other channel, I'm usually doing like hour-long videos, so this is kind of try to tra jam as much information in five minutes as much as possible. <laughs> it's kind of, so hopefully these videos don't get cut off because it's a new channel, so I think you go five minutes and then eventually get up to ten minutes, but I want to keep these kind of short anyway. Um, SLRs versus uh, pocket cameras. Uh, what I call them, um, and there's a gazillion of these things, yes, a gazillion of them on the market to choose from. <sighs> What's better? You know, uh, you know, like a, a prosumer, you know, walk and stock kind of, you know, pack it anywhere kind of camera or the big mighty SLR? Well, it depends what you want to do. Most people think you don't have a camera until you've got, uh, you know, a single lens reflex on there, you know. Uh, they, they, they really don't understand that it doesn't work like that. Because, uh, yes, these are great, but most people buy these cameras and they'll never use it to its full potential. I've been doing photography for a long time, for a long time, and I got into it. No, I didn't go to any of the schools, but I read up on a lot of stuff and then just did trial and error. I went through almost every mode on this camera with the exception of maybe a few things just to try every feature on this camera. And you know what? I don't even use a tenth of what this camera is capable of, and it's nothing compared to what the newer cameras are. This again, this camera is from 2003, but it's still a great camera because my understanding is more of, uh, you know, wh what what am I looking at? What's the lighting? What's the the angle I'm taking at? Uh, you know, what's the ISO, uh, you know, the, the shutter speed, the ISO, and, and the aperture. Where's that at? And a lot of stuff I can do in manual. Uh, some stuff you can't. Some stuff's just moving way too fast. But when you can take your time in manual, a lot of times there's a lot of features you're just never going to use. So that said, it's not that you're wasting your money, but you are buying a lot of camera that you, you might not understand that you're not. You'd be probably more than fine with this. It's just everybody likes the look of that. It makes you look more, you know, photography or, or ish, something like that. <laughs> uh, but these little things here, they can be just as good, and in fact, this one, you know, 16 megapixels, I thought it was 14. I didn't even look at it. Like, uh, the camera that this replaced was the Nikon uh, Coolpix uh, S300. That was such an excellent little, it had like a 1.8 uh, lens in it. Uh, the zoom wasn't much, and I don't use the zooms on these very much, because the, the, this is where the SLRs take over, is, is, is in the, when you got the proper lens to zoom, you can still get a sharp shot. But these, once you start zooming out on them, it's like, eh, they get kind of, get kind of, Yuck. But for the most part, if you're just talking like from like here to the wall or even here to, you know, cross the street or something like that, these type of cameras are fantastic. Uh, they do have limitations in manual mode. They have also limitations uh, in low light, but they do do a good job if you know how to use it. And even at that, most people will never use all the features on this camera or a camera like it. Uh, so... That said, uh, most people just put everything in auto, auto focus, auto uh, white balance, auto everything, and that at that point it's just pick a camera that you know doesn't have a lot of noise to it and stuff like that. And some of these smaller cameras they do pick up a lot more uh, noise uh, in in your photographs because they, they tend to have a smaller sensor and stuff like that. That's where the bigger cameras and, and even now uh, the whole I, I believe Nikon and uh, Canon and, and all those they. Because they wanted to be able to use, have a camera that they uh, could um, take their older lenses, say like from the 1970s, uh, the G and the D and the, uh, all, the, uh, all those lenses and uh, basically attach them to a modern day uh, digital camera. Now this is not modern anymore. Well, it's still modern in, in the sense that it's, it's digital, but uh, 6.1 megapixel. But what they found was that the sensor, once they got above 6.1, uh, one megapixels, you started getting a lot of noise. So the eight, uh, I remember there some of the predecessor cameras that came out of, came after this. It was like this was still, yes, you had more megapixels, but you had more noise in your photos with the eight megapixel and the ten and whatever. So they had to make, they had to make a whole new set of lenses for these kind of cameras, which gave you more open, more light. Uh, that that's that's where the the you're paying for the money or paying the money for is is for that to to get the megapixels up but that said most people would never notice it's only when you start to sell photography or do it for a living that it really makes that much of a difference um but anyway 
Uh, I'll leave it at that. There we go.